Hello, hello to all the amazing people and welcome to my insanely long cursed round in Slice and Dice. An amazing uh, dungeon crawler with dice rolling mechanics where you choose your heroes, level them up, equip them with different uh, equipment, fight enemies in turn-based combat. Uh, usually the runs in this game take 20, uh, 20 fights and then you win, but yeah, there's a lot of modificators. One of them is a cursed run where you can go infinite as long as you can survive. What you do is every boss fight you get a curse and they do really add up. But if you manage to kill a boss on level 20, then everything resets. You keep your curses, you get a blessing. Uh, this is right now I'm in cycle, I don't know, nine? No, yes. Yeah, this is cycle nine already. So I finished eight cycles, so I have eight blessings. The last one I got is third death wish. Every third dice you use each turn against that wish, and it's amazing. I really like it, and it's helping us uh, in this run a lot. I don't have a stronger setup hero wise like I did the last time, but uh, I have a much more aggressive setup, and it does work. So yeah, let's continue. I have the cat. Oh yeah, we need to rename the cat. Oh, we did. No, 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 no. Can I? Okay. So the cat, cat the cat, the the oblite, the obliteratorist of evil. Obliteratorix, oblite, obliterix. Oh, maybe that cat, cat the cat, the obliterate, the obliterix of evil. I think that's better. The obliterix of evil. There we go. Cool. It has an X in its name, doesn't matter. Uh, okay, let's see what the next here is. Although I'll probably keep this here just because of how much flexibility it gives us. I got a little bit uh, addicted to that ability. There is Kronos though. There is something to be said about Kronos. Hmm. Do we grab it? Ability, one damage weekend. I gets minus one tool pips this turn. This ability is really cool. And these growth abilities are also really powerful. There is a lot of reasons to grab the Kronos here. There's the Weaver. Weaver goes really well together with the together with the Seer. Sadly, we can have both. Three damage to top and bottom enemies. That's really good, actually. I wonder if I should replace it. This doesn't work on it, though, so... Nah, just keep it like it is. No need to do anything hasty. Sorcerer is interesting though. Like, a lot of cantrips. I do like me some cantrips. But I have heavy dice, so it's not as great. Okay, I'm just gonna skip it. No, just keep. Like, the cat gives you an ability to have le two level 4 characters, level tier 4 ones. But I'm gonna stay on, on tier 2 character instead. Yeah, you can't level these to tier 4. Besides, like, do I really want to replace my Valkyrie? No. Do I really want to replace my Poet? No. Do I really want to replace my Wizard? No. I'm pretty happy with this. So yeah, let's go. Okay, what's that? 3 damage, Poison Weekend. This doesn't do anything. Like, it's so weak. Okay, let's see. Okay, everything got locked in. Interesting. <laughs> so I guess we just reroll this one then. Okay. That doesn't do anything either. I mean, that does something, but... I mean, I'm very likely not to get anything if I roll here. Ah, whatever. There. <laughs> okay. Okay, nobody's dying, so we can't get uh, usage out of that wish. Well, actually, we can. If I paint her now, she's dying, but it doesn't do anything. Mm. Yeah, because like we would have to inspire, which doesn't do. Yeah. But I'll do this anyway, probably, right? Yeah. Um, so this is what? Five damage? It does have decay. Like, do we use it on the first turn? Since it has decay. Well. I can kill a spider with it. That's probably a good idea. Okay. Target threats plus one to peeps this turn. 
can inspire the cat, but I'm rather gonna save up mana. Okay, I'm gonna do this. And let's do two fortels. There we go. And then once they lose the shield, it's gonna be much easier to go through them. Okay. It said immune. Immune to what? Now this one's weakened. And as far as I know, I don't have... Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is really good on the poet. It's getting destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the best counter to the Tarantus' strongest ability. So let's use it. Like... Okay, and these two are locked. And this is as good as it gets. And here, I guess we can try to get one mana, but... I'm not even sure if I want to use it. But just in case we might need it, I don't even know. Okay. So let's see. I think I go for spiders, right? Six damage, decay. Okay. How much damage does this? Hit? 41. I mean, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Who does it kill? Uh, the topmost enemy. Okay. Uh. Well, I cannot kill it anyway. My question is, does this make sense? I mean, I need to burst the cat twice now. This is pretty close to dying. Or do I just bide my time? Thing is, this ability will become weaker over time because of the thing. But like, these are even stronger. Like, this is what I really want. You know? Like, being able to cleave down the enemies. So. I don't feel super happy about putting 12 damage into one of the spiders, but... I guess if I want to save myself, it's what I'm going to do. There. And then I'm actually thinking of saving all the mana again. I mean, this is this is how I win. Okay, then the weakened goes away. Oh, the poet might die though. Oh, please don't roll the thing. Yeah, I didn't notice it on time. Yep, of course he did roll that, okay. Uh, doesn't matter. We're gonna be fine. Um. Okay, we roll these two. Okay, I mean, I can use that. Oh, that's not the best. He can't give me anything. Okay, that's good. Okay, who are we going for? Okay, the wizard. Yeah, we just protect the wizard. That's really good. Okay. I mean, I can also do this. Oh, but now he, she's not dying anymore. It still does enough damage to like kill the spider though. How do I want to play this out? I think that's fine. We can just grab the mana, actually. That's a lot of mana. And then... I can... I can inspire the Valkyrie. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Kill these. Get the Tarantus going. 
Okay, you can kill the bee. There we go. We can do that, and then we can foretell. Bam. And then there's a good chance next round we actually have enough to just straight up kill it. How much does it have? 34? I have 24, okay. So not quite yet. 24... 28. So I'm like 5 short right now. I don't want the wizard to die though. Hmm. Okay, let's not risk it with the cat. I mean, I can just defend it with burst if everything else fails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's roll these two. Okay. Okay, this is actually... Wait. Oh, but this will kill it. Uh, yeah, that doesn't work. So... I can actually get over the thing. There, and he survives. I have eight. I'm like one short. All right. <laughs> Awkward. Purr, 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 purr. Uh, I guess I just do that. I don't really gain anything because the bee shows up. Oh no, wait, what? Oh, we are already done with that turn? Okay, never mind, never mind. Oh, GG's. Beautiful day. Yeah, Poet's like in a bad shape now, though. Like, do I have like an item that would protect it? Fairy Dust replaces blank sites with plus three mana. That's really nice. I like that. Bullseye. Add engage to the middle column. Times two versus targets with full HP. Okay. Hmm. That might actually be better than the mushroom. Mushroom's nice, but engage is really good. This is cool, but since we cannot add anything here, it's not really that amazing. Yeah, we go for bullseye. Okay, cat, I have an even better thing for you. I'm freaking stupid. Oh my god! Please don't tease me too much because of that. Oh, dude. <laughs> the ordering. I could have had my bows do more damage. Okay. At least now they don't dissipate over time, right? Yeah. Engage is really good against... Yeah, that's good. That's good. But, and now we can give mushroom to somebody else. Yeah, but if I do this, they all lose cantrip, which is really powerful in the non-boss fight, so... But I could put it on on the boss fight. Uh, yeah. You better believe it. I could do this. That's really good. We lose the harp, but hey. I think it's good. Good, 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 good. I think this is crazy, so that's not gonna happen. This is a bit risky, so I don't like that. I could give it harp, it's gonna be a little bit easier to use. Yeah. Although it's so nice when I can chain things into it. Yeah, I know, a little bit. 
undecided here. We don't use the harp, is that crazy? I could do it like this. No, I enjoyed it like this. Okay. The curse! Armor 1-1. One, one. So and all enemies get one armor in first round. Bottom poison. What's this? Oh, two bottom people get poison? Yes, please. Like, why didn't I get this stupid stuff on the first round when I struggled the most? Like, on the first round I was already immune to poison, so this wouldn't do anything. Uh, I'm getting really lucky. Bottom here, start poison for two. Ah, I see. Okay. Give me more poison with people. Yeah? Uh, let's see. Uh, fine. And hopefully Poi doesn't kill himself again. That would be painful. Okay, good. Oh, the cat got buffed. <laughs> it's not dying though, sadly, but... Hey, finally we get this ability. That's strong. Okay. I'm thinking here what I want to achieve. Nope, just keep rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, this might be nice. You can definitely save the poet with that. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. That goes on the poet right away. Okay, good. <laughs> <All right. clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna have to play this very technically correct. So, first I think we do foretell to heal the poet. Still not dying though. I can give it shields. It's not gonna, not gonna die, whatever I do. Then, like, we grab the mana. Oh, the cat's not dying though. Okay, that's not great. But, like, I can kill the sniper, for example. It's probably like a good idea. Because we might not get the bow again. Which, yeah, the engage is wasted, but hey happens right okay now i can get a whole bunch of mana from that then i can shield for like a million with that then i can inspire the cat to kill the zombie I can heal and shield the Valkyrie twice, and then I can foretell twice. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, pretty much done fight, I'm gonna say. <laughs> like... <laughs> and Poet has enough HP now to survive its shenanigans. Okay, fine. I mean, whatever, right? How much does do you spike for? Damage attacker for two. Well, that's a bit nasty. Come on, wizard. Okay. Wait, did you damage yourself? Wow, did that work? Okay. I mean, if I... <laughs> If I use this on a spiker, the cat dies. And if I shield her first, then she doesn't have that fish anymore. Boohoo. Alright. Whatever. Let's go! Ta -ta 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 -da. Troll, demon, wizard, bee. Okay, they're really throwing variety at me right now. I'm gonna check this out, but I'm not gonna grab anything. Let's be realistic here. 
It's pretty much the same like last time. So if I didn't take it last time, why would I take it this time? No, I'm happy with my group. Little group, group of <laughs> evildoers. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It's really good. It might not be the most optimal. Like, let me know what would you like do for the items? Like, would you change anything? So the reason why this is here is because this one's the only one with one point pips. The reason why this is here is, well, it has to go somewhere. And it's the only character that's not gonna, like, kill itself. Plus, I do prefer these two or these two, so... The reason why this is here is because it's single-use things. Plus, it makes room here for Engage, which I think is a little bit more powerful than this. Yeah, and Engage goes on the Cat, of course. It's the only one with three attacks in the middle column. I guess we could put this and this on somebody else if I wanted, but why would I do that? Then this to remove the sticky from its attack so it can roll for these two or for that. Although against these, like maybe that one wouldn't be that bad, but this, these two are so useful. And then like somebody has to have two of these. And since you can heal, if you, if you shield it, you can actually heal it. It's good counteract for that. Yeah, I think this is like pretty much optimal. You wouldn't have to find much better stuff. Okay, it's summoning a bones. Okay. Okay, well, there's the engage. It's gonna do like eight damage. Nice. Uh. Yeah, this doesn't do anything right now. So maybe we roll these two. Maybe I don't roll anything on Poet just because it's so dangerous. I mean, this does save the cat, so that's pretty good. Okay, let's try to get something then. Okay. Do I risk it? How much do we lose really? Uh, we can only gain. There we go. Alright. Oh, but now the cat doesn't have that fish anymore. What have I done? What have I done? Still is four damage though. Is this the dead fish turn? Oh, this is the dead fish turn. So I guess I do this then. Um Okay, this does 4 damage. I mean, it's better than nothing. I cannot kill the wizard, though. Target gets plus 1 till pips. Uh, no, I lie. I can, actually. Okay, we inspire first. No. Bam. And then I do this. There we go. And then I... Uh, I do that. And then... I inspire the cat. To kill the wizard. I mean to stun it. So it cannot summon the bones. Which will make the next turn easier. Not sure if that's absolutely necessary. So if I burst the wizard, I can use this on it twice. I can also like maybe here because this one's kind of a problematic. Okay. Well, other than stunning, well, I basically like almost killed the wizard and also killed the summon that he would summon. And I'm taking five damage for it, which is not too bad. And we have eight mana next turn. So that's probably really good. The wizard might kill itself, which wouldn't be that great. Almost. <laughs> okay, so maybe we don't roll him again. Okay. Okay, the cat's dying now, so... That's four damage to everyone who's not damaged. Do we keep the rest? I don't know. Uh, 
Ah, oh, but it has it has shields. Uh, that's actually pretty bad. Still probably worth it. So I feel like these two could be better. I mean, poison's nice. But I much rather get a whole bunch of mana here. Okay, that's gonna be useful. Nice. Okay, well, I got the mana. Good. Then I shield the wizard, get this thing, and then I go and do the cliff thing. Okay. Then I can kill the bee. Oh, so many people are still dying. Who's the most dangerous here? Like, the demon? No. Oh, this kills the wizard. Okay, so once more. There we go. And bam! And do we save the mana for the next turn? Yeah, maybe. Rather than do one damage. I mean, two damage. I mean, the wizard might kill, still kill himself. Heal himself. Nope, do it. Okay, okay, you can kill the bee. You probably don't want to use that or roll it. Okay, you do have two shields though. So you can re roll your dice without worry. Okay. okay this one's not very likely to do anything super useful. Okay, that's kind of useful. Hmm. And I can do that and shield somebody. I can do this. Not sure I can do that. I can foretell, and then we lose the seer, but it's maybe fine. Oh, you're not dying anymore, so shield is not as powerful. It's a scary situation to be in, actually. I just realized I have one more roll though. Okay, I'm not gonna roll him. Good thing I noticed that. I mean, we could roll empty here and be sad, but I'm not super happy. Okay, that's much better. Oh, that's gonna be it. Okay. <clears throat> so. Let's see. I do that. I shield the cat. Now this gives like a, a lot of mana. Okay. I do like... I don't know. This. Okay. There. 12. Is this enough? It is. Nice. Yeah, this is a little bit catch. But it worked out in the end. Whew. 179. What is the time? 
Yeah, 30 minutes. So maybe we do last two fights in the same video like I did last time. Yeah, I kind of like that. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I kind of run out of steam a little bit. Should be a little bit more careful. Yeah. Maybe like being more greedy and foretelling because my, my, my run really like lasts or dies if I can foretell enough when I get the chance to. Otherwise, it's pretty nasty. That's troll. Like, troll can be so dangerous if everyone's low. Next time, we're gonna have two shades become immune to damage this turn, so they have to be killed in one shot, which, which actually I can do. Yeah. The cat. Now, these are kind of weak right now, though. Well, if the cat is getting killed, then this does what? It does. Four damage. It's not enough. It will kill the sniper though with this. So at least that. Although these are pretty dangerous. But they are both going to the same target. So like with one of these I can protect that person. Or let it die or whatever. And other than that there is nothing else. Like just two, two snipers, two shades, chomp is really not that super dangerous. It depends also where this thing goes and what it gets. What is this? Just 5 damage? Really? 7 damage, 12 damage. Okay, this 4 damage. Yeah, just like a damager. Okay. Shades, they do eliminations. So the snipers quite a bit. And then there's the B. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. And then the boss, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> so right now I have one blessing which is pretty much useless. <laughs> Cataclysm, don't go for it anymore. But if I ever get the presence again, it's gonna be OP again. But yeah, like, subscribe, have a wonderful day, do some nice things, be kind to each other, and uh, let's make the world a better place together. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Slice and Dice. The Niemer signing out. Bye bye.